So we're doing Souvenir, played by Stephen Temperley. Well, it's a comedy, although it's a very touching comedy. Oh, yes, I see. Quite a cheeky little tune, I suppose. It's about a woman named Florence Foster Jenkins, real woman, lived in New York, and became very famous in the 30s and 40s as an opera singer, but the thing is, she couldn't sing. It was off pitch, off rhythm, she was just terrible. And yet she became incredibly famous, and people came to see her, and she sold out Carnegie Hall. They had to turn people away. Believe me, we will make quite a splash. There is considerable anticipation among those in the know. They came because she was so entertaining. What was she hearing? Was I in the presence of mere delusion? or a kind of dementia. The subtitle is A Fantasia on the Life of Florence Foster Jenkins. And it's because it's not a true story necessarily, it's a, based on real people, but it's the playwright's imaginings of uh, how she met her accompanist. He sees this vulnerable woman, he sees all the traps that she could fall into and get hurt, and so he spends 12 years protecting her. <laughs> playing her because of her absolute, utter guilelessness. Absolutely just wants to sing. It's the music that draws me. It's the music that must come before all else. And the joy of being an artist seemed to transcend the quality of the art for her and apparently for her audience also. <laughs> I seek no reward from my singing. Certainly no financial reward. <laughs> no personal reclame. <laughs> I mean, you sing. You're like a prize fighter, though you don't use your fists, just air. Public opinion didn't matter. Skill and talent didn't matter. It was about a love for art that she just wanted to share with the world. Sometimes her name comes up. People still laugh. It's wonderful how everyone's so witty. Ultimately, we end up feeling incredibly protective of her, and we fall in love with her. Voici justement enfant de la cassette, le miroir 